The Inspiration4 mission was very inspiring, and it is important that we continue to reach for higher ground as a species. The chief engineer of SpaceX, Gwyn Shotwell, is responsible for the design of the rocket and spacecraft and is always thinking about ways to improve them. This is because prototypes are easy, but production is hard. This allows for a very high power density and enables a very high thrust to weight ratio and specific impulse. However, the difficulty of manufacturing the engine at scale is the high chamber pressure. There is a reason that no one has made this type of engine before. Check if your conclusion violates any basic principles, e.g. conservation of energy, think about how your conclusion changes in the limit, e.g. if you manufactured a million units. The cost of manufacturing is mostly determined by how you put the atoms into the desired shape. It is often more effective to start with the platonic ideal of the perfect product and then figure out how to build it using the available tools and methods. The determining factor will be the engineering challenges involved. This would require a lot of engineering and technological advances, and it would be a long and difficult process. We need to improve the technology by at least a factor of 1000 in order to make it economically feasible. However, all propulsion systems can be improved in terms of efficiency, and there is always room for innovation. So that means that we have a minimum cost of building an upper stage. And you can think of like a two-stage rocket of sort of like two airplanes, like a big airplane and a small airplane. And we get the big airplane back, but not the small airplane. And so it still costs a lot. So that upper stage is at least $10 million. And then the degree of, the booster is not as rapidly and completely reusable as we'd like in order of the fairings. So our kind of minimum marginal cost and our counting overhead for per flight is on the order of 15 to 20 million dollars, maybe. So that's extremely good for, it's by far better than any rocket ever in history. But with full and rapid reusability, we can reduce the cost per ton to orbit by a factor of 100. The biggest challenge in getting to Mars is the cost of launching a rocket. The best way to reduce the cost is to make the rocket reusable. The best form of government for an early civilization on Mars would be a direct democracy. One example of this is the way that cookies are currently handled. Additionally, the linear increase in the amount of Dogecoin generated over time makes it less likely to be hoarded, and more likely to be spent. He claims not to be Satoshi Nakamoto, but I'm not sure that's neither here nor there. They eventually decided to go from scratch with their own hardware and software, which was a bold decision. The resulting system is much better than what was available before. However, the problem is much harder than anyone thought and it will take some time to fully solve. The hard part of autonomous driving is creating the software that can accurately perceive the world and make decisions accordingly. This requires a lot of smart code and is the main challenge Tesla faces. The control problem for autonomous vehicles is similar to that of a video game, but the accurate vector space is very difficult to create. For driving, this might mean representing a school zone as a concept, rather than as a spatial location. The code is designed to be efficient, with the goal of achieving high frame rates and low latency. Removing post-processing from the images saves 13 milliseconds of latency, which is important for the system's performance. Jitter can make it difficult to control a car, especially if the information is stale. Tesla will likely solve the full self-driving problem next year. This can be done by having them drive more carefully and by having better sensors and software. Over time, there will be less and less conventional software, and more and more neural net-based software. One of the big changes will be that neural nets will deliver a giant bag of points to the C++ or C and C++ code, which will then turn it into vectors. This will reduce the complexity of the system and allow for more accurate processing of data. Without them, the project would not be possible. It is also being designed to interact with humans in potentially many different ways. It is unclear when this robot will be released, but it is likely that it will be sometime in the future. The Model S is a great car for people who want a car that is fast, efficient, and stylish. The US had better quality fuel and aircraft engines than Germany during World War II, which gave them an advantage. 
Germany struggled with poor quality oil and fuel, which made it difficult for them to design high-performance aircraft engines. History can help us understand the nature of civilization and individuals. However, there are some periods and events that are so dark and rough that they are hard to read about. I think the Russian language and culture are both cool, and I'm interested in the history of Russian science and technology. The entire Soviet rocket engine family tree by Tim Dodd is a great resource for learning about Soviet rocket engines. Coal plants are much worse for health than nuclear power plants. The United States has a history of establishing and destroying dictatorships. He believes that the root cause of hunger is not lack of money, but rather civil war, strife, or some other geopolitical issue. However, it is generally agreed that facial hair is not a requirement for great leadership. I think I might have enough material to do one. It can also make us better people and engineers.